Scene from Ancient Grudge Break to New Mutiny uh, and Fair Verona, where we lay our scene. <laughs> <laughs> Two households, both alike in dignity, and Fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From Ancient Grudge Break to New Mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star crossed lovers take their life. This misadventure pities overthrows. Do with her death, bear their parents' strife. <laughs> Rebellious subjects, enemies to peace, profaners of this neighbor state and steel, will they not hear? What ho, you men, you beasts, that quench the fiber of pernicious rage, with purple fountains issuing from her veins. Holy St. Francis, what a change is here! Is Rosaline a just love so dear, so soon forsaken? Young men's love and lies, not truly in their hearts, but in their eyes. Oh then, I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife, and she comes, in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a little team of atomies over men's noses as they lie asleep. This is that very mad. That plates the manes of horses in the night and bakes the alflocks and foul sluttish hairs, which once untangled much misfortune bodes. This is the hag, when maids lie on their backs, that presses them and learns them first to bear, making them women of good carriage. This is she. Lion Val hath here deflowered, my dear. Come tears confound. Out sword and wound, the pap of Pyramus. I, that left pap, where heart doth hop. Thus die I. Thus, thus. Round about the cobbins go, and 
in the poison inch fell from told that under cold stone days and nights have thirty-one swelts and venom sleeping gut while thou first in the charmed pot <laughs> add there to a tiger's chaudron for the ingredients of our cauldron double double toil and trouble by a burning cauldron bubble i commend your pains and everyone shall share in the gains and now about the cauldron sings like elves and fairies in a ring enchanting all that you put in shall share in thy game, and now about the cauldron sing like elves and fairies in a ring, enhancing all that you put in. I'm Hecate, and I'm out like a light. <laughs> <laughs> While the prison of my thumb, something with this way comes. Open lots, whoever knocks. How now, you secret black midnight hex? What is it that you do? A deed without a name. <laughs> I conjure you by that which you profess. However, count to know it. Answer me to what I ask you, though you untie the winds and let them fly against the churches. Tell me thou unknown power. He knows that thought, hear his speech, but say thou not. Macbethany, 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 beware, Macduff, the man of fight, dismiss me enough. <laughs> Tell me, let me know, why sink that cauldron, and what noise is this? Show. Show. moment the first links of my heart shall be the first links of my hand. The castle of Macduff I will surprise. Seize upon fight. Give to the edge of the sword. His wife, his babes, and all unfortunate souls that trace him in his line. No boasting like the fool. This deed I'll do before purpose cool. But no more sight. Where are these gentlemen? Come, bring me where they are. The merciless Macdonwall. I have no words. My voice is in my sword. Thou bloody a villain that term can give thee out. Thou losest labor. As easy may as the entrenched air with thy keen sword and crest make me bleed. Let fall thy blade on vulnerable crests. I bear a charmed life, which must not yield to one of woman born. Despair thy charm and let thy angel wound that still hath still held thee but dust was from its mother's womb. Untimely writ! Curse be that tongue that told me so, for it hath cowed my better part of man. And be these juggling fiends no more believe the pulp with us in a double sense. And keep the word of promise to our ear and break it to our hope. I'll not fight with you. Then you can be coward and live to be the show in case of time. We'll have these our rare monsters are taken upon a pole and under written. Here may you see the tyrant. I will not you. To kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet be baited with thy rabble's curse. And thou opposed, being of no woman born. Yet I will try the last. Before my body I will my relation. Lay on this stuff, and damn be him that first cries. Hold! Enough! <laughs>
Behold where stands the usurper's cursed head. Ah. <laughs> the time. Time is free. Hail King of Scotland. <laughs>